MSN Her is here with Danny Minogue. Thank you so much for joining us today, Thank Danny. You. So we're here in London at the Soho Hotel. Um, is a London a place you get to come back to very often? Um, it, it hasn't been uh, at the top of my schedule for the last year. I've really been just back in Australia with my baby, just uh, hanging out there. But um, it's been 20 years of my life living in London. Um, have my British passport, um, so it, it feels homely when I come back. Do you and Kylie still see a lot of each other? We do. She's based in London, so when I come here now, I'm camping at her place. So we do sisters getting up in the morning, toast, making you know cups of tea, in our pajamas and robes, looking hilarious. You don't want to see us like that. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> And you're now a mummy to son Ethan, who's two. Um, mm. Do you feel that it changed you becoming a mum and how? If so. Becoming a mum changes everything and you can never prepare yourself for it. Um, and it's just changed my world for the better. I think I'm much more balanced and it's hard to find that balance, but uh, I think it's much uh, less about work and more about being a mum and um, I'm a hands-on mum so uh, it's quite demanding and uh, time consuming but he's just adorable and I don't want to miss out on these first few years while he's learning everything. Tell us about your fashion label. Uh, I run a fashion label out of London with my best mate Tabitha. Um, we decided to start this label in 2010 which is kind of like the worst time to start a fashion label, a bit of a recession going on. Um, and then in our first year, I got pregnant, second year she got pregnant, and on paper you just wouldn't do it, and you just wouldn't touch it with a barge pole. But um, we just had this passion that we wanted to design dresses and make something that was beautiful and timeless and, and dresses that are quite elegant and feminine and stuff that we selfishly just wanted in our wardrobes. So that's that's the upshot of the label. We don't get much sleep, but um, we have lots of frocks in our wardrobe. You've done different things throughout your career, the yeah. singing, presenting, the fashion. What do you think has been the real highlight for you so far? Um, I guess the diversity is what I love the best. And for me, it's all entertainment because uh, I was on a, a TV show as a kid where we would do singing and dancing and host links in between. So all of that went together and then I was designing my own costumes to wear on the show so the fashion was a part of it. And I think these days whether you're um, a music artist like Rihanna or whatever, you're going to get very involved in what you're wearing or Lady Gaga and some of these people are designing their own stuff. Do you like Victoria Beckham's line? I love Victoria Beckham dresses. I've been lucky enough to wear a few of those beauties and the inside structure of them is incredible. They might look quite plain on the outside but I mean there's a whole construction going on on the inside and they're just divine and she lives and breathes that fashion label and um, I'm glad that everyone's giving her the respect now that she deserves for it. She, she really is a super mum and super businesswoman. Too right, too right. So lots of career highlights. What would you say was the toughest or hardest point of your career? Ah, oh, being on the X Factor. <laughs> um, no, that was fun. It was fun and crazy and all consuming. Um, but yeah, it, it had its tough moments, that's for sure. And I think uh, a lot of the audience sort of lived that with me and went on a journey and I still receive the most amazing little tweets now saying, miss you, miss you. Would you ever go back? I don't know. It'd be big life change at the moment to um, to take Ethan away from Australia but um, I don't know I just I just know uh, definitely the show's changed. Mm. Beauty wise you look fantastic. Um, Thank you. Can you let us in on a no beauty? No sleep. You say you can't see the toothpicks? <laughs> you cannot <laughs> tell. <laughs> um, yeah can you tell us a beauty secret or a, or a one project you just couldn't live without? Um, well mums just sleep get your head down whenever you can. Um, water, you've got to drink water, and um, beauty products, I mean everyone's skin is different, it's very, very hard, but again, less is more. Um, this is me in work mode, at home I don't wear this much makeup. <laughs> and health wise, um, you're, you've recently um, linked up with A2 Milk, is that right? Yes. Yeah. Can yeah. you tell us a bit more about that? I discovered A2 Milk in Australia and uh, it's been going since 2005 there and I always had a reaction to milk as a kid and it took me 
pretty much in, into my adult years to work out what exactly it was that wasn't agreeing with me. Um, if I drank milk or ate ice cream, I just felt really yucky. These days it's a, quite a hot topic and um, being a mum, you know that if something's not agreeing with your child, you try anything to try and work out what it is. So I'm endorsing A2 because I'm a fan. It's helped thousands and thousands of people in Australia um, who've had pretty much the same reaction as me. And if you're an adult, you've spent your whole life wondering why you can't drink milk. And now if you're a mum and your kid's having trouble, you're, you're looking for um, a solution. I think it, it opens up your menu planning, which I've found as a mum. I can just have one milk in the fridge now and we're done. Stress-free. Stress-free, yeah. yeah. Danny, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. It's been great to be with you. Cheers. Thanks.